Fast Track to the Future, five high-speed rail projects transforming travel across the U.S. The United States, often a pioneer in technological advancements, finds itself trailing behind more than 20 developed nations in the realm of high-speed rail. While Europe and Asia boast efficient and widespread high-speed rail networks, the U.S. has yet to witness the inauguration of its first such system. Over the years, various proposals and projects have surfaced, from traditional high-speed rail connecting mega-regions to magnetic levitation trains and even the ambitious Hyperloop concept, a train zipping through a vacuum tube. As the nation grapples with the need for modern and reliable intercity train services, let's explore five key projects that are shaping the prospects of a high-speed rail system in the U.S. 1 Amtrak's Acela Higher Speed Trains. In 2011, Amtrak embarked on a visionary journey by proposing the Acela Higher Speed Trains, a game-changer set to cover 457 miles with 28 train sets, all at the cost of $2.5 billion. The ambitious initiative aimed to redefine passenger service in the bustling Northeast Corridor, promising a revolution in efficiency and speed. The heartbeat of this transformation is the new Acela fleet, a marvel crafted by the skilled hands of the French company Alstom. With aspirations to touch speeds of up to 160 miles per hour, these trains, though not officially donning the high-speed mantle, stand as a testament to progress in American rail innovation. However, a hurdle looms large on the tracks. The Avelia Liberty trains will share their route with a bustling mix of intercity, commuter, and freight trains on conventional tracks, raising questions about their ability to unleash their full speed potential. Behind this grand vision is a substantial financial backbone, a $2.45 billion federal loan secured in 2016. Yet progress has been accompanied by the rhythmic ticking of delays, pushing the anticipated debut of these trains from the initially earmarked 2021 to a recalibrated target of 2024. While the delay may temper our excitement, it serves as a stark reminder that the dream of high-speed rail in the U.S. is tethered to the exigency for dedicated infrastructure. 2. Brightline West In the sun-drenched vision of the Brightline West project lies a promise of high-speed connectivity, where trains, like silver bullets, race at a formidable 186 miles per hour along the median of Interstate 15, between the glittering allure of Las Vegas and the sun-kissed expanse of Southern California. First whispered into existence in 2005, this magnetic venture spans a substantial 265 miles, carrying the weighty mantle of a $12 billion estimated cost. Imagine an electrified rail line whisking travelers through the heartland of Interstate 15, traversing the distance between Las Vegas and Rancho Cucamonga, California, in a mere two hours and 10 minutes. It's not just speed, it's a transformative journey, with proponents heralding the potential removal of approximately 3 million vehicles from the crowded highways and the dawn of a new era in tourism between the magnetic poles of Nevada and California. Back in 2005, the Brightline West project burst onto the scene, painting a futuristic picture of trains hurtling at a breathtaking 186 miles per hour along the median of Interstate 15, seamlessly connecting Las Vegas and Southern California. Stretching across 265 miles with a price tag of billion, this electrified rail line promised more than just speed. It held the potential to alleviate road congestion by diverting approximately 3 million vehicles. Brightline West emerges as the lone private intercity passenger railroad in the United States, a pioneer rewriting the rules of rail travel. Beyond the western frontier, the project extends its tendrils to the east, expanding its Florida service to Orlando. What makes this extension noteworthy is the creation of a rare intercity train connection at a major airport terminal allowing passengers to traverse the distance from Miami to Orlando in a mere three hours, a testament to the potential of seamless intermodal travel. Yet even dreams of high-speed rail are not immune to the grounding force of reality. The challenge confronting Brightline West takes the form of an ascending price tag. In the past year alone, the estimated cost soared by $3 billion, a financial crescendo attributed in part to the relentless dance of inflation. To sustain this ambitious trajectory, 
Brightline has invested a hefty $600 million into bringing the project to life. However, the financial locomotive seeks additional steam with a quest for $3.75 billion in federal infrastructure funding, shouldering approximately one-third of the colossal project cost. June brought a glimmer of federal endorsement. A $25 million grant earmarked for the design and construction of two stations in California. With the rest of the funds set to emerge from private coffers, the timeline unfolds like a grand orchestration. Groundbreaking, a conceivable overture before the curtain falls on 2023, followed by a symphony of four years in construction, potentially harmonizing with the crescendo of passenger operations in time for the grand spectacle of the 2028 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. 3. California High Speed Rail with routes traced back to a proposal in 1994, the California High Speed Rail project spans 500 miles and carries an estimated cost of $128 billion. This ambitious plan foresees electrified trains hurtling at 220 miles per hour, connecting San Francisco to Los Angeles in less than three hours. Extending eventually to 800 miles, the project aims to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions, equivalent to taking 400,000 cars off the road annually. The challenge for this pioneering project lies in fluctuating public support due to a continually climbing price tag, originally estimated at $33 billion. Despite securing $25 billion, including $3.6 billion in federal grants, the California High Speed Rail Authority seeks an additional $8 billion in federal funding through the infrastructure law. The current focus is on the $35.3 billion Merced to Bakersfield stretch, projected for passenger service between 2030 and 2033, with the entire line's opening contingent on funding availability. 4. The Texas High Speed Train Proposed in 2013, the Texas high-speed train aims to whisk travelers at speeds up to 200 miles per hour from Dallas to Houston in just 90 minutes. With a projected cost of $30 billion for the 240-mile corridor, proponents believe it could carry over 6 million passengers by 2029, offering a time-saving alternative to driving. Considered a potential game-changer, the Texas project faces opposition and legal hurdles, despite the state Supreme Court clearing the way for the use of eminent domain. The original $10 billion price tag has surged to $30 billion in recent years. Seeking $12 billion in federal loans, the project is navigating challenges, including management changes and difficulties in financing and acquiring property. While initial projections hinted at construction starting in 2020, recent estimates are notably absent. 5. Cascadia Proposed in 2017, the Cascadia High-Speed Rail System aims to connect the metro areas of Vancouver, Seattle, and Portland, covering 413 miles at an estimated preliminary cost, ranging from $24 billion to $42 billion. The proposed trains could reach speeds of up to 250 miles per hour, potentially sparking $355 billion of economic activity within the region over two decades. Despite being in the early planning phase, the Cascadia project holds promise, with the Federal Railroad Administration recognizing the corridor as having high potential for high-speed rail. Backed by Microsoft, the project is exploring a public-private partnership with over $500,000 donated for feasibility studies. The challenge lies in creating a governance structure spanning two states and two countries, identifying funding sources, and acquiring right-of-way for a route traversing diverse terrains and an international border. While a feasibility study five years ago projected an opening by 2035, the timeline is subject to the complexities of securing funding and undergoing a federal environmental review. Let us know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the ongoing railway advancements going on in the United States? Like, share, and subscribe to our Cure channel to keep up with the latest railway milestones.